Hello everyone, welcome to my The Young and The Restless Homies official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The Young and The Restless spoilers suggest that Nikki Newman will go to Newman Media, where Audra Charles will ask concerns about Claire Grace because she hasn't been able to reach her. Nikki will snap and say she doesn't want to talk about Claire but she will eventually apologize and insist Claire is a psychopath who helped Aunt Jordan lure the Newman family to Oregon for a tragic scheme. Audra will be stunned by the news and ask whether Nikki wants to take a vacation, but Nikki will believe she needs the distraction of work right now. Nikki will zone out and recall awful lake house memories while Audra outlines everything Nikki missed at the company. Audra will finally suggest catching up with Nikki over lunch but Nikki will choose to stay in her office alone and will request that Audra pick up a salad for her. Nikki will guzzle vodka from a flask while she is alone. Audra will return sooner than Nikki thought, so she'll scurry to hide the flask and apply a mint to mask any alcohol on her breath. Nikki will decide she is too exhausted for a whole day after Audra hands her the salad and will leave Audra to hold down the fort alone. Devin Hamilton Winters will go over the basics of Nate Hastings' new employment at Crimson Lights, so Nate will be anxious to get started and will appreciate Devin for giving him another chance. When Victoria Newman walks in and glances over at Nate, who will greet her tersely on his way out, there will be some awkwardness. Victoria will learn from Devin that Nate has returned to Chancellor Winters. In the midst of Victor Newman's phony illness story, Victoria will also support Nate and provide a different perspective than her family. Cole Howard will formally meet Devin before joining Victoria on the terrace on Wednesday's episode of YNR. Cole will mention retrieving Claire's toothbrush, hairbrush, and other belongings from the lake house for a DNA test. Cole and Victoria will describe how their samples will be compared to Claire's in order to discover the truth. Whether or not Claire is their daughter, Victoria and Cole will feel bound to assist her. When Michael Baldwin comes, he'll say that he understands Cole and Victoria's feelings over Claire. Michael believes Claire's fragile mind will be crushed if she goes to prison instead of receiving the necessary mental care. There will also be some discussion regarding the upcoming DNA test, and Michael will argue that the results may influence Cole and Victoria's willingness to assist Claire. Victoria and Cole will be insistent that Claire needs an attorney who will fight for her and, hopefully, get her the care she requires. Jordan will be blamed for grooming Claire and making her into a monster against the Newmans, according to the defense strategy. Michael will believe that anyone who would harm a child like that deserves to pay in this world and the next. Daniel Romilotti Jr. will answer the door in his robe and invite Heather Stevens and since she will have some coffee for him. Heather will be grateful to Daniel for all of his assistance now that she is ready to move into her new home. Daniel will remark that Lily Winters is out of town and will provide updates on Maddie Ashby's terrible position. Daniel will express his gratitude to Heather for her forgiveness and readiness to forgive his sins in an emotional moment. As they shake hands, Heather will assure Daniel that he is a better version of himself. Devin will still have some reservations about hiring Nate at Society, so he will discuss them with Abby New and Abbott. They'll greet Abby and Devin when Heather asks Daniel to lunch. Heather would brag about her new work at Chancellor Winters and thank Daniel for providing her with the justification she needed to return home with Lucy Romilotti. While Daniel and Heather are eating, Abby will stare at them, concerned about how close the exes appear. It'll leave Abby wondering when Lily will return, but Devin will reveal it won't be soon because she's supporting Maddie and will also join Charlie Ashby for family time. Meanwhile, Heather will speak with Daniel about joining the legal team at Chancellor Winters and hopes to begin as soon as everything is done. Daniel will be taken aback when Heather confesses she's been playing Chelsea Lawson's game and is thoroughly enjoying it. Heather's praise will be high, so Daniel will be grateful. Daniel will remove himself from the table to answer Lily's call, leaving Heather looking pensive. Nikki will check to make sure no one is around before heading to the bar area at the ranch. 
Nikki will swallow vodka straight from the bottle after pulling out her flask to refill it. Victoria will arrive at that same moment and call out for her mother, so Nikki will appear terrified, as if she is afraid of being caught. According to the young and the restless spoilers, Nikki's drinking will become increasingly problematic, so stay tuned. The young and the restless spoilers for Thursday, December 14, show that Nikki Newman will go to extreme lengths to conceal her drinking. There will be a close encounter with Victoria Newman, who may become suspicious of Nikki's actions. Nikki, on the other hand, will do everything she can to conceal her truth and convince her family that she is recovering from her ordeal. In fact, Nikki is still dealing with her sobriety and the horrific events of Oregon. Following that, Victor Newman will be wary of some news. That could include a tip on Jordan's whereabouts, since E and R spoilers indicate he'll suspect Jordan of trying to throw them off the trail. Jordan will lead the Newmans and cops astray, possibly to disguise the fact that she is now so close to home. Jordan may want the element of surprise on her side when it comes to attacking the Newmans because she wants to finish what she started. Of course, Jordan doesn't appear to be ready for another battle just yet, so she'll keep setting the groundwork and planning her ambush. According to other E and R rumors, Phyllis Summers will extend an attractive invitation to Danny Romilotti. It's clear that Phyllis wants to be more than just friends with Danny. Therefore, this could be part of a plot to rekindle the flames. Although Danny will be intrigued by this invitation, he will not forget Christine Blair and their reconnection. Danny has been making great strides with Christine, so he should keep that in mind. Will Danny accept Phyllis' offer, or will he turn it down? If Danny goes along with it, even in a friendly setting, Christine may notice him with Phyllis and become enraged. In the following episodes, Phyllis and Christine will continue to feud over Danny, so this fresh invitation could set the stage for even more drama. According to Lee and our spoilers, Phyllis will undoubtedly stir the pot on Thursday's episode, so stay tuned for updates on how this may affect Danny and Christine's romance. Lie and R spoilers for Wednesday, December 13, 2023 are now available. View your favorite Geno City residents as they create drama. This is not going to be an episode you want to miss. Spoilers for V and R Daniel and Heather Dine at Society. Lucy doesn't appear to be present, but she could have stepped away or be at school. The exes, on the other hand, appear to be getting along fine because they're all grins, and Heather is clearly flirting with Daniel. Nate appears to be suited and ready for business at the GCAC. He's having a quiet moment when Audra walks in. He doesn't appear pleased to see her, but Audra sits with him. Will these two reach an understanding, or will Nate avoid the vixen? Nikki poses in front of her vodka at the ranch. Will she or will she not? Nikki succumbs to the siren song of the alcohol, drinking her full straight from the bottle. Audra later awaits Nikki at Newman Media. She has a lot to say to her employer as she walks in. Will she notice Nikki has been drinking? If that's the case, would Audra keep this information to herself, or will she seek assistance from her boss? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.